It's time for Dodger Baseball. This series can't get any better. Almost ready for baseball in Milwaukee. The roof is closed and the atmosphere perfect inside Miller Park. It's the home opener of this new season between the Cincinnati Reds and the Milwaukee Brewers. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Here comes perhaps the fastest man in baseball as Billy Hamilton strides forward to get this ball game underway. Right fielder, Billy Hamilton. And we are underway from Milwaukee as the first pitch of the afternoon is taken for ball one. Harold Reynolds, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in hoping to get back on the beam as they've dropped three straight. Yeah, they're on a small losing streak, but it could lead to a long one if you don't sit there and say, all right, it stops right here. We got to put a stop to it right now. Somebody's got to come up with a big hit. We got to get a good pitching performance. We need to win the game because that's the mindset you have to have. We're stopping it right now. The buck stops here. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first down. Now batting, Eugenio Suarez. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Ball one. One out, nobody on. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 and oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, 
this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Third. First base in is Joey Fado now. First shot Joey for him here with a runner Votto. at first now and one away. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Ready with the 0 1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Reined in. The second for one. Relay to first in time and just like. In is Christian Yelich. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. For the Center fielder, Christian. In Holy tight here Yelich. with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Oh. Harold, these Reds as they enter play here this afternoon, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, they've won the first two games, Matt, here on the road. And I, that's impressive anytime you do that. Now they're looking for the sweep. In this place, that's pretty good. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A high fastball is in there. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, Batting throw second. it over for a strike. Right Here comes the first pitch. Lorenzo. And that one skips across home plate and misses badly. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. One and two as he chases the slider. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Swung on in the dirt, and that's a strikeout. Digging in now, number seven. And, and he third. is proving to be something third of a non-threat with number a bat in his seven. hands this year. The average isn't pretty. And that misses for ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. Oh. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 oh pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first, but this will get foul. 2 and 1. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peraza is after it. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. And that brings Batting up the left-handed hitting Third Travis Bateman. Shaw. And Travis. the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Peraza on the move. He's got it. A great running play. And that'll retire the side. Into the box now, Adam Duvall. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. and Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So striding in, number 79. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. High pop up. Miley is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The catcher Devin Mezzarocco stands in. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Now a ball lined towards center field. That gets down and the inning continues. Set to get his day started. Batting Phil Goslin batting Second just a basement. notch below 300 Phil so far on the Gosselin. season. Here comes the first pitch. Hit to third. And that's through for a hit. At the plate, Got Jose eight. Peraza. Two's Center all fielder, over the place. Nine. Two on, two Jose out, and of course, Peraza. here in inning number two. High in the air out to center field. Yelich is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. 
Here's Ryan Braun now. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this Left one. Fielder, Ryan Braun. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Standing in, Stephen Vogt. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Swing and a line drive. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Seven. Next to bat, Orlando, Orlando Arcia, Orlando hitting just a bit Arcia. over the Mendoza line on the year. And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0-1. Comes set with the 0-1. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now with the plate, Jonathan Villar. Not the shiniest of batting average Jonathan as he comes in hitting VR. down in the 220s for the year. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Tell you what, Matt, not much to do with those pitches. I know he's looking at two strikes now, but the first one was on the outside half. The other one ended up on the outside half with two different looks. What can he do? Nothing much with that one. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. The one and two pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Lifted the other way to left center. The ball on the move, two gone. Coming to the plate now, Wade Miley. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the stretch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Softly hit out to short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Now to the plate, Anthony DiSclafani. Nine, one, and two do up. Anthony into the windup and the pitch and a ball popped foul to the right side out of play into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 hit back up the middle to his right VR throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third here's Billy Hamilton standing in 0 for 1 for him here in this one Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch turned on down the line third inning no score to this point hit on the ground to third on to first and there were two down digging in for his second at bat Eugenio Suarez reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance line to the right side. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Digging in to try it again. Joey Votto. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1. 1-0. One oh. Here it comes. 1-0. Takes a high fastball for a strike. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And here's a ball hit in the air. A 
decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Just short, hit hard. Garcia has it. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Riding in once again, Christian Yelich. He'll look Leading to get Winterford. something going here in this scoreless ball game. Christian and that misses inside 1 0. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And now pitch on the way. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. 2 and 1 now. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. And another foul ball. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now three and two. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. In now is Lorenzo right Kane. He was six. a strikeout Lorenzo victim in his first try. Kane. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Swing and a little blooper to center. Peraza ranging forward. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number seven. He flew out in his last at bat. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Adam Duvall. He'll start Leading things out here in a tie ball game. The left fielder number 23, Adam Duvall. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Kane going back at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. Ready for another chance. Number 79. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. The catcher, Devin Mezzarocco, stands in. One for one after a single this first time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. 0-1 count and the pitch. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Yelich is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Phil Gosselin. A base hit in his first trip. Phil Gosselin. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. Striding into the box, Jose Peraza comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hard liner to center field. Yelich. He's back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about, about trying to move up. Pitcher, so digging in now, Anthony DiSclafani. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Whoa, first offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. After it is Yelich. He can't get there as it falls in. Digging in once again, Billy Hamilton. Right no hits in Billy two trips to the Hamilton. plate for him in the ballgame. 
hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And that is through into center field. A base hit. The throw to the plate. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Stepping into the box, Travis Shaw. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Travis. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. Hard hit ball to second, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. My left fielder number eight. So Ryan striding forward Braun. now, Ryan Braun. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up, chopped weakly to the left. And he won't even He's think out. about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now at the plate, Stephen Vogt hit it hard but Steven. lined out in his first at bat. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Peraza is there now, and he has it. Two gone. At the plate, Orlando Arcia. He singled his last Touchdown. time up. Orlando. He's Arcia. set, and the pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two seam fastball. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. Oh. Here he comes on 2 0. Oh. Line toward center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Shaw rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Digging in the switch. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded to the right. Taken in by Votto. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in and looking for more. Eugenio Suarez. He'll lead things Touchdown. off here in this one Eugenio run contest. Suarez. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Ready for another shot now. Adam Duvall he comes in 1 for 2 with that home run he hit earlier. And a ball 1-0. Three runs, nine hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. 2-0. Oh. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Grounder down the line at third. Shaw has it. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Number 79. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball. 1-0. Here it comes, 1-0. 
And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the one and one delivery. Way in front of a great slider that time. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. So well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Stepping in, Devin Mesoraco. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Hot shot to third. Shaw gloves it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Stepping in, Wade Miley. He'll lead things Leading off as we Brewery. begin the home fifth. Catcher, Wade Miley. Hernan Perez will get the call Pinch here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as the lefties begin to heat up down there. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gosselin onto the grass, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. In is Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. This is the time in the game you start thinking, hey, they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy, he's still got it working. Gets him out in front as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Right in now is Lorenzo Cain. He's 0 for 2 Kane. with a strikeout in this one. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. One run on three hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Kane on his way to second. And he is in the second with a two out double. So coming to the plate, number seven, number 0 for seven. 2 on his line thus far. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Boy, Matt, we're watching him have great success on that exploded fastball at the top of the zone. And I'm telling you right now, you can't catch up to that. It looks great to you coming in, but you have to get your bat in the position to get on top of it. And it's just too hard to do all those things and think you're going to square it up. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Up next for and that brings up Third the left-handed hitting Travis Rabbit. Shaw. He's Shaw. one for two in the ball game. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. Ready on 0 and 2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the. Jacob Barnes takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 50. Digging in and looking for more. Phil Goslin. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Heading out towards shallow right. Kane is under it. One out. And now here's Maddie. Jose Peraza, 0 for 2 on Jose the afternoon so Peraza. far. Swing and a liner. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. The batter. Ready That's for it. another shot now. Anthony, Anthony DiSclefani hitting in his own turn with his guys up by two in inning number six. 
Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Either he missed the take sign or they're just not thinking as a team. The first two guys out on one pitch, so it could have been a three-pitch inning if he would have made it out right there. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hitter. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 one offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two and two. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one. Here's Ryan Braun now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that slider's almost in the dirt. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Change up low, 2 and 0. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Duvall, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting. Catcher. Digging in once again, Steven. Stephen Vogt. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ground ball right side. To his left, Gosselin. Throw in time at first for route number 2. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away, and it froze it. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate, and that's what he's doing right now. Hit down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gosselin ranging into the outfield, and that retires. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He'll lead it off lead it here as we begin red. inning number seven. The right fielder number six, Billy Hamilton. And here's a ball hit in the air. Arcia is there for it. One out. Striding in now once again, is. Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio One for two with a double Suarez. on his line thus far. Shot toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Runner at second, one away. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. First pitch coming, here it is. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. 1-0 and pitch on the way. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make them swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He's set. Here's the 2-2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Braun has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a 4-1 to one ball game. Ready once again, Adam Duvall. Base is empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Weekly hit to third. Shaw fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Villar. No board. hits in two trips to Second the plate for run. him in the ball game. Jonathan Villar.
Wendy Peralta gets the call from the pen for Cincinnati. Number 53, Wendy Peralta. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now to the plate, Jacob Barnes. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Domingo Santana will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 16, Domingo Santana. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. The numbers offensively, pretty dismal to this point. Down in the 170s to start play. One home run and three driven in. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Ready with another 0 2. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. In is Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. And here's a ball hit in the air. Suarez into shallow center and that's the third out. Jeremy Jeffress will come out and now take the ball the here as he'll be making his number 15th 32. appearance of the year. Jeremy Leading off the inning number 79 as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And as Sinker dips too low. One oh count. Here it is. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here's the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Well, now it's a one two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Another one sent foul. Here he comes again, one two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. The catcher, number 39. The catcher, Captain Devin Mezzarocco, stands in. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. The 1 0 delivery. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. Now batting. Second Ready for three. another chance? Phil, Phil Goslin. He's two for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Center and fielder, here's Jose Peraza. He could we'll really use a knock Peraza. here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is. going to wind up a foul. Runners on the move for second. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Braun giving chase. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. 
Digging in to try it again. Lorenzo Kane. He'll get things started now in the right bottom fielder, of inning number eight. Lorenzo Kane. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0 and 1. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0 and 1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. Gosselin backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now Stepping into the box, number seven. number seven. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Now the 0 1. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Peraza has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Standing in, Travis Shaw. Baseman. He was sat down on Travis. strikes in his last Shaw. at bat. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Drifting back behind first now. And no problems over there for Votto as that'll end. Coming to the plate now. Wendy Peralta. He'll try and lead things off here in inning. Max Kepler will try to get his club a little. Ninth inning insurance is so grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. And now action in the bullpen. As their closer start. Now Number 71 will take the ball Number now as the new pitcher. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. The average sits at 286 here to start play. Eight home runs and 22 RBIs. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Braun has a read on it, one down. So right striding in, Billy Hamilton. Billy it was a Hamilton. fly out for him in his last trip. Popped high in the air. Number seven is there for it. Two down. Trying to pick batter, things up where seven. he left off. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. Hey, Eugenio He's roped a couple Suarez. of doubles in three trips to this point. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. Into the windup and the pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. 2 0 count and the pitch. Ooh, good changeup, just missed inside. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Yelich going back. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. In is Joey Votto now. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. This is line to left. Braun is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Number 40 is ready and he'll now take the ball from the manager. Batting. Number 40. Here's Ryan Braun now. Leading off.
for the Brewers here in the bottom of the ninth. Left fielder, number eight. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Duvall sprinting after it. He's got it one away. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Hamilton. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. And that's swung on and missed so the Brewers are down to their final strike now. He might have been setting him up with that high fastball to change his eye level. Now he's got him set up. Maybe he'll go down the zone. Hamilton is under it. Makes the catch and that's the ball game. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Five runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Brewers, one run, 